God to have a change of heart about man. Amen. Put Adam out of the garden, amen, and he barred the gate. To get out. Can't come back. And don't you know, amen, that's a sad omen, amen, when we go against the will of God, amen, according to the law of God, and God closes the gate so you can't get out. It's like a child that leaves home and don't leave the right way, amen, and then gets stranded, gets strung out and find out that his friends put him down and his money run out, amen, and have nowhere to go to but look towards home and can't, and can't go. Amen. The Bible said that God put the cherubims in front of the garden, amen, and they were to guard it as a flaming fire day and night so Adam couldn't go back in. Amen. Oh so as we began to look at the word of God, amen, uh, we, we were trying to get to the open door. See, see, God don't leave us without a remedy. Sometimes we can't always see the conclusion, amen, as to what is transpiring, but I thank God for being omnipotent in that he knows all things. He knows the beginning from the end, and he knows the end from the beginning. A lot of times we get frail, we faint, we give up, amen, because we run into trials, we run into some struggles, we run into hardship. And don't you know in everybody's life a little rain must fall. Every day is not going to be Sunday. God told Adam to get out. Don't you know there's some things you can do in sin that you'll never get rid of even after you get saved? Not unless God give you a miracle. And so here Adam learned the hard way. We must understand that our God is a devouring fire. The Bible says that God is a spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Amen. Well, amen. We, when we look at the bar gate, it, it symbolizes a broken relationship. Some of you in here have never had a broken relationship. You've never gone through something. You've never had somebody disappoint you. you never had somebody let you down. But some of us men know, amen, that have ever been in that kind of a situation. You ever had a woman to write you a dear John letter just to tell you, say, boy, it's all over. <laughs> just get off the bus, Gus. Go on about your business. It's over. Oh, yeah. Then you wanted to sing the song, She Used to Be My Girl. <laughs> Amen. That when sin came into the midst, there was a broken relationship. Amen. God had told Adam and he said, I love you. And, I, and all I want you to do is just trust me, just obey me. We have a hard time because we want to live independently of God. We want to feel like we can do it all on our own. But we must come to the understanding, amen, that God had a significance in telling them not to eat of the tree of life. Look at here when God gives us so many good things, gives us so many blessings, amen. Why would you want to go contrary to the will of God? Inside God, there's no failure. Outside of him, there's no success. Try as you may, amen, and reap some of the things of the world, but you'll never get the fulfillment thereof. Money can buy you a house, but it doesn't mean you have a home. Sometimes more hell to raise in houses than any place you know. Folks get off their job and don't even want to go home. Brother, get their paycheck sometimes, Brother Wayne, don't even want to go home. Supposed to be where the heart is. Home is supposed to be where you can go and get a meal every now and then, Sister Goss. Home is supposed to be where you can sit down every now and then and eat some fried chicken and some black eyed peas and thank God for a biscuit. Money can buy you a bed, but not necessarily sleep. Spend some this trip. And so, amen, if you're going to get to the open door, it's best that you don't make a permanent decision in a temporary situation. Oh, I wish I could get a little bit of help here. Ah, 
amen, we must understand here that sometimes we learn things the hard way. But we got to get to the place, amen, where we know that God sees everything that we do. There's nothing here from the eyes of the Lord. And sometimes we want to fool our parents. Sometimes we want to fool mom and dad. Sometimes we want to get by the pastor. But nothing get by the eyes of the Lord. It is here, amen, from this particular writing, amen, that God is always concerned. He's a God full of mercy. I, I like God, amen, because in spite of myself, in spite of my stuttering, in spite of my shortcoming, in spite of everything that I as a pastor, to know this evening that in all in all, amen, when I look at the Lord at all times and his praise yeah. but I'm glad about David, amen, because he understood, amen, that his problem Seventeen years later, before 